Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy and welcome to the beginning beekeeping series. Today we're going to talk about the bee smoker and how to light it. You can put a variety of materials in your bee smoker from dried leaves, pine needles, cotton seed, depending on what you have in your area, um, you can use a variety of things. I have found the cotton seed and pine needles make an easy smoke. And then you can also use wood pellets from your wood burning stove. If you're out there for a much longer period of time, you can add those on top of the hot coals and you can get smoke for six or eight hours. Just depends on how long you want to be out there. And I'll show you how to start your smoker. The first thing you'll notice about your smoker is it opens uh, like that. And you're going to put your fuel down inside there and then you're going to puff it to get it started. If you look down into the bottom, there's a grate down there. It looks just like a grill. And what you're going to want to do is just like with any other fire, you're going to want to start it with some small stuff on the bottom. And I usually use just regular old newspaper. Um, paper seems to work the best. I crumble up a ball of paper, put it in the bottom, and then I light the paper and get the paper going. And then I put the other fuels on top until the smoke gets rolling out of there. And I'm going to demonstrate all of these processes for you so that you understand. And I would recommend you practice lighting your smoker several times before you need it and before you actually go out to the bees because there's nothing more frustrating than getting out to the bees. You're ready to install, inspect, split, whatever you're going to do, and you have some problems lighting your smoker. Maybe all the fuel that's out in the yard is wet or something like that. So you should have a backup plan. Have some fuel that you store in a building or somewhere that's, that's, that is dry. And practice lighting your smoker several times before you need it. All right, let's show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, take your paper, make a little ball, kind of like that. Throw it down in the bottom of your smoker, like that. Start it with some kind of a, you could use a match or I use one of these sticks. And just start it on fire at the bottom of the ball. You want to, you want to start at the bottom because the fire is going to move upwards. And if you start it at the top, it's not going to work very well. So there you go. you got your, the bottom of your ball started. Just give it a few puffs. As you can see, now the flame is starting to grow a little bit. And at this point, it's going to burn my fingers. So I'm going to lift it upright. And I'm going to take my cotton seed and just put a little ball of that in there. Just a little bit. Just puff this a little bit. I'm going to move my hand because the wind's blowing it toward my fingers. And I'm just getting it going. So see how that, how quickly that uh, starts going. You can see we got uh, the, the ball of paper is going. And now I just take that with my hive tool and stick it down in there. Crush that, uh, crush that paper down. It's just ash. And I put another hunk of the cotton seed or pine needles or whatever you got. And as you can see, it's already starting to smoke. Put your lid on, puff it. And what you're looking for is a nice cool smoke. No ash coming out of here. If, you, if you've got ash or if it's really hot and there's little, little embers coming out, you don't have enough stuff. So that usually happens when you're uh, when your uh, container here burns down in the bottom and you have nothing left but ash and embers and you start puffing this and you get ash and embers and then you'll start to see the bees they get all wound up uh, and so that's not uh, that's not optimal so again you can just keep pushing more of this down it's kind of like uh, getting a pipe so you want to push that down but you want it to have a little bit of air to breathe you don't want to snuff it totally out, but the more you can keep it from actually having a flame, the more smoke you'll get. And this will keep uh, going, and then you can grab it, walk out to wherever you're at, and just keep on puffing. Or uh, give it to your little daughter or son, and they can do it. I used to do this when my son was eight. He used to be the smoker, so I taught him how to hold it like this, so that he wouldn't grab the part that's hot. And he would just walk along the trail, puffing everything, and it was a really fun job for him to do. So that's how you light your smoker, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Beginning Beekeeping Series, and as always, be extraordinary. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.